What is going on guys? Tactical Bacon here coming with a uh, technical video I guess you could say. So today's technical video is going to be how to install the breaking point launcher. As you can see I've got the breaking point launcher right here. But uh, for those of you that don't know, I'm going to give you guys a quick tutorial. Uh, all you have to do is just open up your browser, start typing in breaking point. Go to the breaking point home and then you want to click download and then right here download now and then all this kind of shit will pop up i would not advise clicking on any of that just let it do its thing and you'll get breaking point installer now blah blah blah. welcome to breaking point where is your arma 3 located you're going to want to point it in the uh you're going to want to point it to the folder where your Arma 3 is actually installed to. Uh, for me, that would be not D drive. Uh, for me, that would be E drive, games, Steam, common, Arma 3. Now, for you guys, it'll probably be something else because I've got it installed on another hard drive. Uh, where would you like to install the updater? I would just recommend installing it in the root directory of whatever folder or whatever works better for you just so you know how to get to it or where you have to go to get to it if you need to for some reason or another. Uh, I'm not going to install it because as you guys can see I've already got the thing installed so yeah. Let's go ahead and double click on that once it's done. Um, don't worry about that, that's actually something I'm going to be sp explaining in another video pretty soon. Um, but yeah, when you download this Breaking Point Launcher, this is what it is. Uh, it tells you all types of things. Uh, you just click this, that'll connect you to the TeamSpeak right away as long as you've got TeamSpeak downloading, or downloaded, I should say. Uh, that'll take you straight to their YouTube, their Reddit, their Twitter account, blah blah blah. Um, same thing with all these kind of icons. It'll take you to a page of some sorts, I believe. Uh, right here, it tells you your character stats. As you guys can see, I've played as an outlaw pretty much the entire fucking time, it looks like. Um, and, yeah, bug tracker, blah, blah, blah. The two that you're going to probably be commonly using... I mean, there's three that you're probably going to be commonly using, which is uh, installation and update servers and character and stats, or characters and stats. Uh, but for right now, we are just going to focus on these two right here. Uh, when you first download this, you are going to have to come into the, uh, what is this called? The installation and updates. And you're going to want to make sure that you are up to date on the latest breaking point version, which as of right now is 0.1429. And uh, all this other stuff should be green. Um, right now, I'm kind of leaving it as is for the purpose of the next couple videos I'm going to make, which are some of the errors you, you can get and how to fix them. Let's see. But yeah, everything here should be updated. Everything there should be green. And then you just want to come into servers once you're done updating and downloading all the files and just pick wherever. Uh, obviously, there's European, there's Canadian, there's US, there's Australian, and ZA, which unfortunately I don't know what the fuck that stands for. If you guys want to let me know, I would be happy to uh, put an annotation on the screen somewhere, I assume, and let everybody else know what ZA means for the other people. So anyways, that is the basic installation and run through of how the breaking point launcher works. Um, obviously this is for people who want to play Breaking Point, they're interested in it, but aren't quite sure how to do it. This is all you have to do. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video, hope it helps. If you have any questions about the initial installation and just getting things going first off, then let me know, you know, ask your questions in the comments. I'll try to answer them as quickly as I can. But yeah. Like I said, I hope this helped you guys out, and hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll catch you in the next one.